occupation That's what they all yelling But it's gangsta nation Of a bank is selling our future while the politics Mike check! Mike check! Occupy Atlanta! Occupy Atlanta! It's a place for every individual It's a place for every individual Come and show themselves and have their voices heard I'm a Georgia I'm a Georgia Entrepreneur Entrepreneur I want to bring back I want to bring back Georgia jobs. Georgia jobs. I have bad credit. I have bad credit. Because of student loans. Because of student loans. I cannot. I cannot. Get the help I need. Get the help I need. To bring lower fuel prices. To bring lower fuel prices. To bring clean drinking water. To bring clean drinking water. To the world. To the world. And to help better. And to help better. Our society. Our society. I think. I think. That small businesses. That small businesses. Are very important. Are very important. To a healthy. To a healthy. Economy. The top one percent. The top one percent have all the power right now. Have all the power right now. I think the little man. I think the little man. The ninety-nine percent. The ninety-nine percent. We are bigger than the one percent. We are bigger than the one percent. But we're still the little man. But we're still the little man. Taking a fight to Goliath. Taking a fight to Goliath. Maybe we win. Maybe we win. Maybe we get that one shot in. Maybe we get that one shot in. I just want my one shot. I just want my one shot. When it comes to the revolution of the people, when it comes to the revolution of the people, not merely one individual owns it. Not merely one individual owns it. It is something which all the people hold ownership. It is something which all the people hold ownership. And when it comes to the time, and when it comes to the time, when it is threatened to be taken from us, when it is threatened to be taken from us, we all have to do our part. We all have to do our part to hold tightly to the banner of freedom. To hold tightly to the banner of freedom. Power to the people. Power to the people! Five years ago, five, five years ago, I used to work for a company. I used to work for a company that took advantage of the 99%. That took advantage of the 99%. And at the time, and at the time, I thought, I thought, thought, I, thought I was doing, I was doing my job. My job. At the time, at the time, to me, to me, I had to do, I had to do what it took. What it took to feed my family. To feed my family. What I didn't see. What I didn't see is that I was part. That I was part of a bigger problem. Of a bigger problem that would eventually. That would eventually starve my children. Starve my children. So I had to let go. So I had to let go of a job. Of a job that paid me more. That paid me more. So that I. So that I could prepare a future. Prepare a future for my children. For my children. That was not short term. I had to realize. I had to realize that you have to make sacrifices. That you have to make sacrifices in order. In order to make change. To make change. I am here now. I am here now because I represent. Because I represent that change. That change. And that future. And that future for my children. For my children that will not be. That will not be restricted. Restricted by my selfishness. By my selfishness for a temporary dollar. For a temporary dollar. Occupation, that's what they all yell
Island, but it's gangsta nation of bankers that be 